Good morning, Minecraft, and welcome to my weekly show where we talk about all things Minecraft. Spotlight some cool YouTube channels, let you guys know what's going on around my own channel, and just have some all-around fun. For example, last week the Crafty Nugget and I had a blast shooting all sorts of things into orbit with some wild and crazy TNT cannons. And before that, I got to go on a really awesome first-hand tour of Zul'jin's private single-player world that he has titled The Cobblestone Chronicles. And for today, I thought I'd try a bit of a change of pace and record in third person. <clears throat> now, to get this show started, I want everyone to meet our very special guest, Mr. Miola! Yay! Hello, Mr. Miola! How Hello, are you Mr. doing today? I am fantastic. How are you? I am terrific. Wonderful. <laughs> um, where should we start? Well, I was first going to ask you, uh, what's life like in the great down under? Oh, it's wonderful. It's um, it's currently winter, <laughs> and it's quite cold, and, and I, I'm I, quite sick at the moment. I so. hear you guys have absolutely no snow. No snow at all, yes. That um, winter without snow is really strange to me. Our winters are probably some somewhat similar to your summers. So <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Yeah. So not too cold, but um compared to what it's normally like in summer, forty degrees Celsius, it's uh it's a big change. Yeah, I have no idea what that means. No? It means as, very hot. That's what it means. As uh, Armitage says, I, I the U.S. is on a, an outdated and archaic uh, measurement system. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I only understand Fahrenheit. Yeah. Um, I think it's is, is in the hundreds. Is that is that hot? Hundreds. Yeah, that's desert. Yeah. Well, it'd be up there somewhere, I think. Uh, Arizona gets to about 110. In the summer. Okay. Apart from the weather, not a lot's going on down here. <laughs> How's right. good old America? Um, we're going through a presidential election right now. Something oh, I, I avoid like the plague. <laughs> it's pretty crazy right now. Um, all the YouTube ad advertisements are nothing but campaign oh, mudslinging. That's all it is best time of year but I hear you've had some pretty awesome uh, outstanding success in YouTube and I wanted to bring you on the show today and see if you can share some of your tips for some of your awesome success uh, you've just yeah. recently started your channel and lo and behold you're already partnered with uh, who is that TGN that's the one. So I was yeah. one, I was hoping I could uh, get you in here and and have you share some of your awesome tips for starting out a brand new YouTube channel. All right. So um, I started yeah a few months ago and um, it wasn't really supposed to be well it, it wasn't intended to be like a full on uh, I guess adventure. It was just uh, for a bit of fun. <laughs> but um, yeah. Well. I got had an o overwhelming response, and uh, so I guess I kept going, and I developed a passion and a love for making videos and uh, commentating and all the rest of it. So um, to begin with, I was doing a bit of like a survival series with uh, a survival map okay. that was uh, made. A custom and, survival uh, map? Yeah, it was a custom survival map. It was called The Jumper, and uh, oh. I was doing that with a friend. I Is don't that know anything like The Dropper? It. Uh, not really. Okay. It's um, it's sort of like eleven islands, uh, floating islands. Sorry, and they're oh, wow. all, they've all they've all got like a, a different theme, and uh, each island that you move on is it gets harder and harder, and some of them just get completely messed up. <laughs> but um, it's supposed to be played on hardcore, where uh, actually is it? yeah, you it's, die, it, you, it goes by dead. a scoring system. You die, you're dead. Yeah, pretty much. But we did it multiplayer, and we died over a hundred times. <laughs> wow! It was it was crazy. But you guys had a lot of fun. Oh yeah, definitely. And uh... and um, 
that that uh, video, the first video, happened to get featured on the uh, main page of the uh, of the map on the Minecraft forums, and oh. that's that was pretty much our uh, our kick start. Like we uh, got, uh, I think that video might be on about six seven thousand views at the moment, which right for a starting channel is quite quite <laughs> good. I think that's ridiculously amazing. Yeah, um, I I when my channel started out, I actually had. A pretty decent amount of success, but not not nearly as much as what you've had so far. Uh, I believe I had, I was gaining about a hundred a month in my first few months. Oh, beautiful! But I was doing some pretty pretty fantastic buildings. Yep. Um, yep. What what I failed to do was actually post any of my builds on on forums, and I I think that's a a key to getting a channel started is is getting your getting the message out you know it, no it really is it really is it's probably it's it's sort of like free advertising if you manage to get like your we'll put it, put it this way my most successful videos have come from uh, being posted on say like the top of uh, the original post of a, a mod or something like that and they receive it's sort of uh, incredible publicity and it's a great way to sort of kickstart like a channel it's so, a great opportunity. Okay, cool. Um, which forums do you actually uh, post your videos on? Uh, the main one, that, the main one that I use is uh, MinecraftForums.net. Okay. Um, however, I've started to start looking at Planet Minecraft as well, as that's got a very strong and very uh, well-built community, oh, and yeah. it supports everything you need. Um, you actually got me started on that one, or maybe you. Somehow through you, I got started on Minecraft, uh, Planet Minecraft. Um, in the past, okay. I had only used it for downloading skins and um, texture packs. Yeah. But I had no 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 idea that I could post my builds on there too. And oh, it's a great way. No matter what you're doing, you can yeah, you can pretty much share it with the world, and it's going to get <laughs> seen by a lot of people. And I'm I am seriously regretting not having done it last year when I was starting out. Yeah, no, nah, same here. Like I, I mean, obviously it didn't take me a year, but um, <laughs> it took a while. <laughs> but um, pretty much from that survival series, I started making a few mod spotlights. Okay. Um, there was one mod that I came across. It the post had only been up for like an hour or two. It was called the Percy Jackson mod, and um, the oh. mod I could tell, I could tell from the start that it had a lot of potential. It was um, a very well built. It had, uh, it was heading in the right direction. It was very um, innovative, and so I made a spotlight on it. And that, yeah, it was put into the uh, OP again. And that's probably, I think that's my second. Popular, second most uh, popular video, and um, from there, sort of just kept going. It was good. So, what is what is your uh, what is your strategy when uh, coming up with a you know a, like a daily video or this the, the next video? How do you go about uh, planning it out? Um, you say you mostly do mod spotlights. Yep. Um, I try to see at the moment I'm sort of juggling uh, mod spotlights, uh, a let's play series on a server as well as um, like survival sort of like one survival map at a time or um, at the moment I just started Sky Grid. I was doing an island survival. Oh, Sky and, Grid um, is a crazy insane it, map. It really is. <laughs> it makes me dizzy. <laughs> oh, wow. But I'm, but, I'm, um, um, I'm saying... When you're when you're looking for uh, the next spotlight, do you yes. have uh, a set s s a series of steps that you can go through? Um, trying to give this give information to somebody who's an upcoming channel or you know just wanting to start yeah. out. What what do you go through to f to find a good mod that you think is going to do really well? And how do you go about um, making a video about it? Uh, so pretty much the first things I do, I'll go through. Um, I'll go through the forums, but I'll go through the most recent posts, or I'll go through the posts that don't have a lot of replies yet, and they're relatively new. 
because a lot of those haven't a lot of people haven't made uh spotlights for them yet and if you're oh, first cool. on the what was that sorry i said oh cool oh <laughs> uh, yeah um if you're first to like release a video uh often like the modders that made the mods they uh they they sort of they sort of feel like they owe it to you sort of thing and they uh, they'll try and like promote your video cuz you're promoting their mods and uh oh. it sort of turns into like a win-win situation yeah it becomes a team effort it, you know everybody's out to everybody's yeah. out to win yeah exactly and you guys all work together to to get there yeah sort of like I scratch your back you scratch mine everyone sort of uh wins from it you know but um to to sort of get your video to sort of stand out above I mean there's a lot of there's a lot of big YouTubers that are releasing these mod spotlights you know <laughs> a few mods a day and it's very hard to beat that but, absolutely um, the best thing I could the best advice I could really give for mod spotlights is to sort of study the mod as much as you can sort of just make sure that you have a knowledge of what the mod in, includes and what it introduces um because like you do see a few mod spotlights where the modder will go in kind of blind and he <laughs> sort of doesn't really know what he's i mean doesn't know what he's talking about and i found that in mods that i've reviewed in the past and i've uh, wow. looked back at them and sort of wish i could redo them <laughs> but um that's that's pretty much like the number one thing that i would uh come across like that i'd sort of uh advise upcoming channels to look at cool yeah so how's your lp coming along yeah it's not going too bad um i only started that a few weeks ago i think and uh, i've only got five episodes out so far <laughs> um and i've it's a very slow series to be honest <laughs> not a lot has happened in those five episodes any of my uh lps that i've done in the past they started out really slow um especially if you're if you're doing it um single player survival it it takes a while to build up your stockpile to where you actually start yeah. building anything you can't build anything in the beginning <laughs> you really can't you see that's i wanted to sort of do like a survival i wanted to like i'm on a multiplayer server but i still wanted to stick to that survival start from scratch right um which i see but i also wanted to do like awesome builds and stuff like that as well and it's kind of hard to do both because um, you'll soon find that you run out of materials very quickly. <laughs> very quickly. <laughs> um. Um, for LPs, what I suggest doing is, uh, you know, build farms. Get yourself some automated mm -hmm. or some large farms. Some high-efficiency farms would be nice, too. Um, get, those, get those going, and then you can start building some big big things like what I've got going I think I first spent my first 10 or even 20 episodes doing nothing but farming just to get myself <laughs> set up to a, a point where I can you know I can build whatever I want now I'm yeah. I'll, I'll never run out of resources I can I've always got some automated tool in my town that just you know gives me what I need yeah but I would you thrive off your creations yeah and you know I'm still entertaining I'm still entertaining as I go, you know. Yeah. Uh, I got I got a lot of reaction or response from all the automated builds that I did, um, and I kind of build like a tutorial as I go. It's like, you know, here's an idea for a farm. Here's how I'm building it, and you guys get to see me build the redstone and everything. So. Yeah. You share the knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, any other tips you have for those up and coming YouTubers? Um, Just in general, I'd say confidence. <laughs> um, confidence. Okay. I mean, it, it, confidence comes over time, but um, hey, even over exaggerated, you know, it 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 shows and it goes it goes a long way. It uh, I think it helps out a fair bit. It's uh. It be is very hard. Wild, be that outstanding, wild, and crazy personality. Yeah. <laughs> it works. <laughs> uh, it works for some. Uh, some things I've seen as, you know, I've been, I've been at it for a year now. Uh, August was, August 4th was my, my first year anniversary. And what I've seen over the, the last year is, you know, 
get involved with other YouTubers is, I would say, the oh, biggest, definitely the biggest thing. Um, even you know, I would say relatively to your own size, but yeah, definitely yeah. try to get involved with some of the bigger YouTubers. Uh, you might not get a response right away, but the more you try to get involved, the more you know, the more response you're going to get. See, that is one thing that I regret not starting earlier. Um, I was always sort of, I didn't realize how much of a difference networking with, uh, you know, the YouTube community actually makes. Um, it was only about a month or so ago that I got into contact with a guy called Menace. And uh, he's a friend <laughs> of both of ours. Um, and he introduced, yeah, he introduced me to you. He introduced me to a whole variety of people. And um, I definitely regret not making that move earlier. And uh, I sort of, I was a bit nervous. I was a bit, I don't know. I was scared. I was scared of meeting new people. But uh, it's the best move I've ever made, I think. Wow. Um, in my own case, uh, I set myself a goal. Um, because uh, a year ago, Doc M seventy seven started a a new show he called uh, Dear Doc, and on each every week he was announcing a subscriber of the week, and I set out for I think this was my second month I set out to get myself at least an honorable mention by Doc M some way and somehow, and I spent you know every day just chatting with the guy, leaving comments, talking to other people around YouTube. And I put a lot of effort into it, and I finally got uh, a spotlight on his channel. Oh, nice. And that's when my channel really took off, is when some some of those larger YouTubers said, hey, you know, check this guy out. He's got some good stuff. So I definitely um, encourage everybody out there who's starting out, you know, get in touch with the other YouTubers, uh, myself, Miola, um, Zuljin, definitely, uh, definitely reach out and make some friends. Yeah, it'll definitely uh, pay off in the end. <laughs> it it really does. Um, a lot, of, a lot, of, a lot of the big YouTubers, yeah, throw competitions or not competitions, but they throw, uh, they throw shout outs around to channels that sort they th they believe deserve it. And like you said, like you got your shout out, uh, Zuljin, he's had. A few mentions, I think. Menace had a mention, and it's that's it is a great way to grow your channel. Absolutely. So it looks like the show is about to wrap up. So I'm trying to think of something fun we can do for it. We did some cannons last time. Hmm. So what'd you find over here, Miola? Found uh, one of these jungle temples. These new jungle temples. Oops. I know. I've been I've been staring at it the whole time. Where did that waitress go with our coffee, man? I know. Still waiting. <laughs> Still I want my money back. It's <laughs> not good enough. <laughs> Shall we enter? Yes. See what. I'm gonna let you trip all the traps while I watch. Yeah. <laughs> Is there anything up here? I don't know. I've never no, explored one of these before. I haven't either, actually. I've never uh, never come across one. Nope. Nothing I ran across yet. a bunch in my my seed research, but never actually bothered to really get, do a thorough exploration. Oh, what are these levers? I have no idea what the levers do. I think it's some sort of puzzle. Hopefully not TNC. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're, have you seen the desert ones? Oh, uh, yeah, they're crazy. <laughs> the desert ones have like a TNT trap at the bottom. I've found us a little trap here. Can you, How do you disarm a trap? Can you? Let me try something. Ooh. You still got shot. <laughs> I would think you'd want to break it. And here's our redstone. Oh, there's another one there. I didn't even see that. I must be blind. <laughs> it's and we dark have three in here. gold ingots and a few bones. Oh. Hmm. Definitely worth taking an arrow for. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> or a couple. 
Ah. Damn it. Destroyed it. Well, there's another chest over here. Oh, wow. Whoops. So it is sort of like a puzzle. Yeah. And more gold. 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 Yay. We got some gold. I'm going to... Where'd those pistons go? I broke them. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. not the pistons, the uh, levers. I was going to give them a flick. See if... Well, I broke all the pistons, so it's not going to do oh, anything. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's not good enough. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> unacceptable. There's our little... Cafe shop up there. Mm. I think it turned out quite nice. 